Hey guys, today's video, I'm going to show you how I adjust the virtual memory on my Windows 10 rigs. These are the rigs where I'm running GPUs and I'm doing all the software on a Windows 10 box running the software manually, not using NiceHash, HiveOS, Awesome Mine, or anything else. I just go in, run it through a script, as you see here on the screen, and I do it all by hand. So when you're running GPUs on your Windows 10 operating systems, you need to adjust the virtual memory accordingly based on the size of the memory per GPU. So I didn't know this when I first started. I was always getting Windows 10 crashes, seizing up. It just wasn't running right. Then I discovered, oh, you have to adjust your virtual memory. Oh, okay. So that gives enough room for these cards to run off, you know, accordingly. So what do you do? So looking at my screen here on the left, you see that I have six GPUs running. These are the notorious 3080 Ti LHR, dun, 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 the NVIDIA crypto miner blocker baby. But you can see I get approximately 90 mega hash out of these. It fluctuates between 87 to 90. So not quite as great as a 3080 non LHR card that you can't even get today. Or if you do find one, they're a couple thousand bucks at least. Uh, but anyway, LHR is a touchy subject. But anyway, so what do I do? Each of these 3080 Ti's has 12 gigabytes of memory. So that's what I need to know to calculate how much virtual memory I need at least to set on my Windows box. Okay, so let's go over to my little calculator. I can't do it in my head because I went to public school. So six times 12, I need at least 72 gigabytes of virtual memory. Pretty cool. So remember that number, 7-2, baby. So with that virtual memory, you should have a decent sized solid state drive. And what I have is a Kingston SA whatever, and it's a 120 gigabyte solid state drive, which is a SATA drive. I know I need at least, uh, see, I forgot already, 72 gigabytes on virtual memory. Go down here to your Windows 10. And you just basically come in here and you, all I type is, um, all I have to type to get the right settings panel is perf, P-E-R-F. And you want the one that says, adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. And I typically do this when I'm setting up a new rig and installing Windows. This is one of my checkboxes. Go in and adjust the performance and the virtual memory. So let's do it. Kablamo. Okay, you get the performance options. On a side note, I always click this guy, adjust for best performance. All right, let's go into advanced. Okay, here you see virtual memory. Virtual memory is your paging file. It is an area on the hard disk over here, this Kingston I have, the 120 gigabyter. It is an area on that hard disk that Windows uses as if it were RAM. So it's a total paging file size for all drives. So remember I said 72, so here it's megabytes, so you convert it's 72,000. I padded it with two because you want to give the OS something to do. So if you're doing other stuff, like bringing up Windows or bringing the browser up, there's enough extra memory available for those applications to run if you need it. But in general, I bring this machine up, I spin up the miner, the GPUs start hashing on Ethereum, and I let it go. I don't do really anything else on it hardly. I maybe bring up stuff like you see now, settings, and then the hardware info guy, just to check my sensors and see what the temperatures are. Do your uh, gigabyte size times the number of GPUs you have, and then pad it by two or more. I just put it at 74. It's been working fine, no issues. So when you set this paging file size, uh, and you go to your uh, file explorer, one way to check is go over here to your uh, Files Explorer. You can go click on this PC. You can see, oh my gosh, my disk space, it's all gone. Why is that? Well, that is your uh, file. That's your paging file. That's it. You gave it a lot. You said 74 gigabytes in this case. 
and it's going to chew up all that space on that uh, solid state drive, that SATA drive. So you can also, if you want to verify, hey, why is this chewed up? You may forget, why am, I, why am I running out of disk space? You can always download another free app, another tool you should have in your toolbox, hardware info, and in this one, Windurstat. So Windurstat goes through and finds out who's eating all your disk space. So in this case, I ran it on my C drive, and it says, okay, there's my page file. That's exactly what I expected. It's about 72 gigabytes, which is what I set it at, right? And, uh, you know, 72.3 approximately. So that makes sense. So that gives you an idea. Oh, yeah, that's my virtual memory on my uh, my uh, SATA drive, my uh, solid state drive. So there's how you can map those two together. Uh, what else do we got? I think that is pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. You just got to know how many uh, cards you got and what the uh, gigabytes memory is on each card. These cards I have here are beefy, beefy puppies in that they are 12 gigabytes. Most cards and my other rigs are eight gigabytes, six to eight, no fours, but uh, these are the big boys and I got six of them. So there you go. So something, something to keep in mind when you're setting up a rig, virtual memory on a Windows 10, otherwise you're gonna run into issues. It's almost like the other memory issue you gotta worry about is overclocking on your cards. If you just set the mem clock too high, you're going to probably throw blue screens on your window with an NVIDIA driver barfing and you'll get an NVIDIA uh, uh, memory TD or something like that error because, again, you overclocked it and it was running for a little bit, but then it hit something and boom, blue screen. You'll see that stuff as well. So you start seeing weird stuff with your windows. It's either the overclock settings on your GPU or you don't have enough virtual memory set. All right, that's it, guys. I hope this helped. Real simple topic, something something most people aren't aware of. I wasn't aware of it. It took me a little bit to figure it out and do some digging. And once I did, I went, oh, so now it's just part of my checklist. Yeah, that's it. Okay, that's all I got. If this is helpful, man, give me that thumbs up. YouTube loves that when you thumb up a video. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will talk to you later. I'm out.